Hey, what's up guys? Professor here. Today I'm just going to show you quickly how to sidechain externally and to route F6, a uh, dynamic equalizer from Waves. I love this thing. So it's pretty easy. Get your F6 on whatever mixer track you need it to, you need sidechained, and then get whatever you have sending the information highlighted. Then you'll right click sidechain to this track. Now my kick will send information to this synthesizer or it's sending it to this insert right now. But next I need to go here. I need to go into this. You need to go to processing. You need to enable stereo aux in one, change it to one right there. Good. Now I can set it for the kick to, uh, push things down rather than the internal. So I'll go to external and now it's getting information from the kick and you see this threshold right here. See how every time that kick hits, it pops up. Set it so your threshold goes to wherever you want your compression to trigger and then go to um, range and go down. Now. It's pushing that wavelength down now, all right? Hear it? Anyways, um, that's it, guys. You just right-click it over, or you right-click, Make sure it's sidechained to this track. You go into your F6 stereo and you do this. It's that easy. And you can do that with the vocals and instruments as well and just cut frequencies out. Um, that's it. I, I didn't want to get this video too long. If you guys are curious how to use F6 in useful ways, uh, like to shape your vocals around the beat or the beat around your vocals, things like that, I'll be glad to make a tutorial on it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll be glad to answer them and make a video. Till then, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Thanks for dropping by. I hope this helps out. And check out videos, music, check out some more videos, check out music, subscribe, share, like. Take it easy, guys. That's it. Have a good one. Bye.